Here we have 10.5, finding the asymptotes of a rational function, a constant over a linear, and it wants me to graph the vertical and horizontal asymptotes of a rational function. Okay, so for vertical asymptotes, that's the easy one. You just take your denominator equal to zero and solve. And that's how you find your vertical asymptotes. For your horizontal asymptotes, um, you really have to take into account the degrees. Okay, so you, for horizontal asymptotes, there are two cases. So case one happens when the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator. And if that happens, then the horizontal asymptote is at the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. Okay, and we'll eventually we'll see that, so we'll show you what that looks like. Um, or if you have case two, where the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is automatically at y equals zero. There's nothing to do other than recognize it and then know it's automatically at y equals zero. What is y equals zero? That's the x-axis. Okay. The equation y equals a zero is on top of the x-axis. So for my vertical asymptote, I'm going to take this x minus two and equal it to zero. I get x equal to two. So then if I graph that, that's here, which means I will draw a dotted line at two. In the computer, you're going to select the button that looks like a vertical line. You're going to click it and you're going to place it right on the x value two and let go. Okay. For the horizontal asymptote, you're going to click on the button that goes this way. And here, what is the degree? The degree of my numerator is actually zero because there's no x's up there. The degree of the denominator is a one because I do have an x and the exponent is one. So the degree of my numerator is less than the degree of my denominator. So I have case two, which means my horizontal asymptote is automatically gonna be at zero which means I'm going to draw a horizontal asymptote right on top of the x-axis. And so this is where my, ver my vertical asymptote and my horizontal asymptote should be drawn inside um, Alex.